All right. Stealth time it is then. And also, Keatser actually had a purpose then. I thought he was kind of almost like Scotty's mascot, even though that sounds a little, little harsh, but yeah, there you go. But yeah, little dude had some skill. And uh, as I think on that, you might think about hitting those like and subscribe buttons. If you do, much appreciated. And uh, as always, Comments are also super nice. Can we? Would we? Do we want to go in here? I'm not sure, but we're doing it. Oh, we have supplies. All right. Getting some of those grenades. Little scan. Interesting. How warp drives work? One out of three. Oh, a lot of takes. Right, warp drive. Faster than light travel. Where do we start? How about subspace? Seeing as how the existence of subspace is the only reason we can travel FTL anyway. Subspace is our shortcut, our rabbit hole, the looking glass dimension that allows us to sheet the old rules of space and time. We haven't completely figured out how it works, but we know how to get in and out of it in one piece. Good enough for me. I would agree. I would agree. Okay, so we can sneak in here. Let's do that, I guess. Okay. Let's get into cavalry. Our prep works. Two out of three. Enter subspace and thereby travel faster than light. We need to create something called a warp bubble around the ship. A very clever fellow named Sephram Cochran was the first one to do this, and the basics he came up with are still what we use today. All you need is a controlled matter-antimatter explosion, some dilithium crystals, and a warp coil or two. Congratulations, you just made a warp drive. He makes it sound so easy. But he was a genius, as we all know. I am going in. So I think the stealth commendation for this room will be much harder than the last room. I don't I don't think I saw any mines that we can hack <laughs> into. inside. Kill 100 enemies with the captain's facer. Where are you, Spock? I have, once again, very... Oh, there he is. Alright. Yeah, we might 
might as well um, do some shoddy to the face type of action. Anywhere. That appears to be the last of them. Scotty, tell Keenzer we're clear. Wait for Keenzer. Can we scan this? Should be a three out of three for the warp core somewhere. Come on, Keenzer, we don't have all day. Uh, Captain, he may be a wee little bugger, but there's no need to be patronizing. Sorry. There he is. We weren't patronizing, we were. Uh-huh. You know, in a hurry. I'm not sure where the third thing is. This looked like it could be it. Oh, it was. Just needed the right distance. Up. Set complete. Nice. Warp factor is just a fancy term for the size of the bubble created by the warp drive. The bigger the bubble, the faster you cross subspace, just like a bigger sail can catch more wind to cross an ocean. The good thing about sails, unlike warp drives, is that when they malfunction, there's no danger of wiping out the entire crew in a millisecond. Such are the benefits of simpler technology. Yeah, that that sounds a little sticky. Okay. Nice. So I think we have done fairly well so far. Scotty, things ain't looking so good down here. He thinks there's something wrong with the upper wall court. He needs you to investigate. Can do. How did he tell? You know what? Never mind. They have their thing going, and I'm not gonna argue with that. Give me a hand with this door. Some of that, and some of that. Although I think we were kind of okay on the old health situation. Sneak. They have yet to notice us. We can go hot or cold here. Lead the way. Try and see. Do a little scan. Wasn't okay. We have more. Oh no, this is for the warp core. Any chief engineer who says that they don't spend every waking moment of their lives thinking about the warp core is a degenerate liar who should be kicked out of the fleet. If the ship is the body, the core is the heart, and the sole point of the chief engineer's existence is to keep that heart beating. I'm sorry to get emotional about it, but facts be facts. Yeah. Oh, there was something else that we could scan. I might. Don't mind. <laughs> if I do. Let me see if we can blow that dude up. And circle back. Oh, and we have a turret. Very interesting. Come on, buddy. You know you want that mine. That mine. 
Yes. And down he went. Okay, if there's a turret, then okay, we can go in there. here vent nothing else Kirk will know a lot more about the vents of his ship than he did previously yeah that's what I want Oh, damn. Let's get back inside. Get him? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep hacking. You just do your thing. But what about the sound, they say? How can you stand the ever-present hum of the warp core day in and day out and ask them if they ever get tired of the sound of their own breathing? And they look puzzled for a second, and then they walk away, and I go back to work. Point made, I guess. Okay. So one more. Somewhere. Okay, let's not go that way, because I think we all know what could happen. All right, we're back here. Um, let's see, can we? I'll take okay. care of the pressure. I will lower the core. You do that, but first, where is the? Oh, yeah. Must have a. There it is. Thank you. 
that was everything? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's the last got something here. Set complete. I've been asked if it doesn't get a bit boring spending all of my time in engineering. We don't even have windows, but the fact is, I'm too busy making sure the controlled matter and matter explosions stay controlled, the dilithium crystal converter assembly stays assembled and converting, and the warp coils stay coiled and warping. My job is the opposite of boring. That's good. We have another set done, which means we have, wow, yeah, 2,000 more. I'll we'll hang on to it for now, I guess. The pressure's released. Quickly, lower the core. We will need to repeat the same procedure for the remainder of the warp cores. Crap! Radiation leak! One of you needs to seal the containment drum. I've marked it on your tricorder. Just curious, what happens if we don't? Oh, nothing serious, just severe radiation poisoning. Hey, where did that dude come from? Spot, heads up, we're coming. Oh, but we have all the turrets now. That's nice. Radiation levels rising. Seal that containment. Yeah, I'm I'm working on it. Do You're this. To work together to release the core. Thanks for the save. <clears throat> oh, it blew up. Well. Okay. I'll handle the fail save. I am going to lower the core. Last one. Okay, get back down here. Keats is in trouble, sir. On it, Scotty. Hey. Captain, I'd sure appreciate it if you could keep the little bugger safe. I know he's a pain in the ass, but we will do our best, Mr. Scott. What happened? Did he get <laughs> brainwashed? Yes, he must have. Hmm, that golden. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I was just about to say, I don't think that was the best thing we could have done. Spock had the right idea there. Dudes are bad. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, that dude. We want to save. Sir. Ouch. Yeah, I don't think we killed any one of our guys. Can't say the same thing about these fellas, but then again, I don't really care. It's okay, officer. We did! The walk car is back online. Nicely done. The infected now appear to be our most immediate problem. How's it going, Bones? I'm making some progress, but it'd be nice to get a little help up here. We're on our way. Spock, let's get to Med Bay. We're just fixing everything over here, aren't we? I'm okay with that. It's our ship, after all. Thought we could do something with this. What's the point of this room, otherwise? Oh well. Captain, I think I have an idea that could help here. Let's hear it, Sulu. With the warp core back online, I believe I can destroy those tethers that are holding the Enterprise. We're all ears, Mr. Sulu. No offense. None taken, Captain. If I could pulse the shields, you could disrupt the tethers! He might be onto something, Captain. Get on it, Sulu, but wait for my order. We have to get control of the ship first. Well. We did it! Nice. thing? Well, not when you're standing there. I guess not. You know what? Maybe we could, but not worth the hassle. Someone sedate that man. Captain, Spock, over here. Might as well do that. Might as well get some defenses going. I guess he didn't want it. It's about time you guys got here. What's the status? I got injured everywhere. We've been able to barricade ourselves in here, but those little bastards are persistent. I don't know how long we've got. 
and the antidote. I can synthesize an airborne vaccine, but I need the lights back on. I can't see anything, and I don't have enough power to replicate enough for the whole ship. We can boost the power to Med Bay in the control room. Do not worry, Doctor. You will not be in the dark for very much longer. Is that some kind of joke? Not that I am aware of. Ensign, get me that sample from patient 42. Yeah. It's not the jokey type. Yes. You should well know by now. Anything scannable in here? No, okay. Complete your objective without provoking it. Stealth again? At this point, they should just have called it Star Trek Thief. Gotten it over with. Oh, that we can scan. I've got something here. Sick bay equipment. Bose would be better to ask about this. I try to spend as little time as possible in sick bay. I mean, it's right there in the name. Sick bay. Who wants to go to a place called sick bay? Why not call it health bay? The happy room? The pain free lounge? No imagination in Starfleet. Now, I don't think they're well known for that. Uh, someone's had... I'm not sure if that's a knee joint or something, but it looks, looks a little iffy. Not gonna lie. Glad it's not us. Oh, wait. At this time, we're using the ladder. Much better. Is there anything in this direction? No, I don't think so. Back in the vents, boys. Do we want to go down even further? I mean, maybe. So we missed that commendation, but you know what? I'm okay with that, I think. Because we haven't killed the one? Oh. We haven't killed anyone. They will have a bit of pain in the morning, but they can hopefully live with that. Get out of here! 
out of here. No! Ah! Oh. All right, I think that was all of them hit where it hurt. Very nice. It kind of feels like we are getting the Enterprise back together, but even though we are making good progress, we deserve a bit of a coffee break. And you have the chance on clicking on those like subscribe buttons. But then it's time to push on.